Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. I literally just slicked back my hair in like a ponytail and I was looking at myself in the mirror for so long being like, this looks so weird because I never, I don't know if you guys like notice, but I never ever put my hair up. I just like love my hair down. Like I just like it. I don't know why. Like I just never put my hair up at all. Like I'll put it up if it's like greasy, like whatever. Sometimes, like, when I get ready, ready, I never, like, put effort into my hair. Meaning, like, I just, like, leave it down and, like, that's the end of the day for me. Like, that's the end of the story. But today, I was like, you know what? Okay, my hair's a little greasy. <clears throat> Plus, um, yeah, honestly, that was the main reason, okay? <laughs> it was pretty greasy and I didn't want to wear a toque or a hat because since I'm going out and I'm going, um, shopping with Julia before a nail appointment I'm gonna have to be wearing a mask so I don't like and I don't like wearing a toque and a mask or a hat and a mask just because I feel like I can't like see like my vision is just like I don't know it just feels like too much on my face at once so I was like you know what instead of putting on a hat or a toque why don't I put my hair up and I did a cute little sleek back ponytail and I feel like it just like looks really cute with my outfit right now and I honestly love having like jewelry on and wearing a cute set like a sweat set with like a cute shoulder bag and with your hair slicked back it definitely is a look and i think i'm gonna do this more often because i'm kind of loving it like it's really cute okay right now i'm literally debating what necklace i should wear this bottom one is beautiful it's from en route and then this top one is just a plain gold one from anna luisa and honestly with this outfit i think i'm just going to put the basic gold one on okay I'm gonna put her on. Okay, so one thing that um, I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be bringing my Rare Beauty blush um, because we're going to the mall. So I love this thing so much, but I saw that they came out with a new formula that's like a dewy one, and this one is definitely not dewy. So I kind of want to bring this and then try out like the dewier ones. <laughs> and just in case if I like the dewier ones better, I want to exchange this for like the dewy formula so we'll see but I do really 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 love this one but we'll see because I just like don't know if I would like to do your formula better and since this is like pretty pricey I mean it's not like too bad but since it is like up there like high-end makeup you know um I kind of want to see if I would like the dewy one better so we will test it out and I will let you guys know. But I'm gonna leave now. I'll talk to you guys in the car. Me and Brittany and Julia. Brittany's my older sister. And what we're doing is we are going to get our nails done because we got them all done for Christmas together. So we're all gonna get like them done again, like a fill. Like I'm just gonna get a fill. I'm not even 100% sure what I want yet. I think I want like this really pretty blue color that I've been really having my eye on, but not even like 100% sure yet. So we are all going to get a fill together and Julia asked me if she wanted to, if like we wanted to go to the mall before. Um, so that's what we're going to do. My The nail appointment's at 4.15 and it's 2 o'clock. So we don't have actually that much time. We were honestly going to leave a lot earlier. Like we wanted to leave the house at like 12, like two hours ago. But then it just didn't work out. Like we were just like, eh, we'll go later. So yeah, it's not like we really need to do anything at the mall. I think she just wants to like browse and just like have some fun. But yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm just driving to her house and then we're gonna both hop in one car and carpool there. So we're gonna go together. Anyways, I'm gonna drive now because we're already running so late. <laughs> By the way, my set is from White Fox. Um, can we just admire Julia's dashboard? It's flat, like her dashboard is literally flat. So like my camera just lays on it perfectly. I mean, she'd probably still need some sort of like sticky thing because it's gonna oh, slide. Like a sticky thing would be so perfect. This is like the perfect setup. <laughs> we are at Best Buy right now because Julia needed to pick up a hard drive and we are trying out these cameras and I literally the Sony one is giving me quality and lushness like <laughs> it's really here I don't know if you guys can okay wait I just zoomed in I don't know how to use it but it has literally like a wide angle lens like it goes all the way wide which this one doesn't do and the white is so beautiful and it just makes you look so good don't need a new camera like i really really don't but this sony one it's really nice it's like really like julia doesn't know much about cameras no. and she can see the difference like make sure your skin looks so flawless it literally like blurs out your skin like not that like i 
really care about that too much but at the same time it does make you look really good so <laughs> like the, look at like the coloring on it yeah the coloring is really nice oh my god you guys but it's a thousand dollars it's literally a thousand dollars like we're talking thousand here it's not it's nothing that I need but we'll keep it in mind for the future yeah, ventures if you ever need to get a new one maybe Sony. maybe Sony and I was thinking about it because like Sony's cameras are more they're a lot different than Canon like you could tell like the the imaging is like yeah. so different it actually makes your skin look so like pretty. it makes your skin look so flawless it's so nice for just this Julia look I'm like look at it just covers yeah. your skin Dude, we literally look so pasty in this camera. But this camera's giving me tan, lush light. Um, can we just admire Julia's dashboard? It's flat, like her dashboard is literally flat. So like my camera just lays on it perfectly. I mean, she'd probably still need some sort of like sticky thing because it's gonna oh, slide. Like, a sticky thing would be so perfect. This is like the perfect setup. We're going over some speed bumps right now, so that's why we're shaky. But anyways, so we just did a little bit of shopping. Um, an update on the Rare Beauty Blush. Um, I liked the one that I have better because the dewy one, it's so sheer. Like it rubbed into my hand and then you can barely see it. Like it's very sheer. So I don't know how it would look on the face, but we didn't have much time because we need to get to the nail appointment. So I just kind of quickly um, swatched it on my hand. But I definitely like that one that I have better because it's a lot more pigmented. Like the dewy one is a lot, it's so sheer. But it's like a really nice consistency. It just, I feel like it would just like rub off real quick. And I already have that problem with blush where I feel like I need to reapply it a lot because it, I don't know, blush just disappears. I know. I feel like I'm like constantly like reapplying. But you should get the Fenty Beauty one that I have because it's so pigmented. So when you put it on, it lasts. It's a powder blush. Oh, it's a powder one? Line. Okay. And so it lasts like literally all day long. Really? The Fenty Beauty? Yeah. It's I've like never the darkest tried. shade one. I've never tried a product from Fenty Beauty before, really so maybe good. that should be my first one. But I'm also on the, I'm also on the lookout for new makeup products or whatever. So if you guys ever have any recommendations, leave them down below because I'm always like on the lookout for new things. Um, because I've just been so into makeup lately. Like I think the whole world has right. Like, I TikTok. Know. Same. TikTok. <laughs> I like, um, keep seeing so many like saving. Yeah, and I feel like there's just a lot of like new makeup brands lately. Like mm -hmm. a lot of new innovative things. Um, that's making everybody want to buy a lot of things and new makeup and it's literally making me obsessed with makeup but down we go <laughs> i knew that was gonna happen eventually but anyways so that's the verdict julia just bought like a little cute ass sweater i'll get her to show you guys later but it's really cute it's just from garage and i didn't really get anything oh that was a start off <laughs> <Sur -off. laughs> acceleration <laughs> I had to turn. I didn't think I was coming. <laughs> Just hold it on tight, you know. Um, anyways, but where's it going this yeah so we're just going to the nail appointment right now it's at 4 15 it's literally like 4 10 right now so we're just getting here in the nick of time and yeah i think i decided what i want to do i'm going to do this really pretty blue color you guys will see but um i think i decided on that because we both agreed that it just looked like a january color like it looks it screams january like this blue is january and i was debating on getting that or light pink but i think i'm gonna save the light pink for valentine's day because i really want to get cute valentine's day nails so i think that's the verdict also i'm gonna call Brittany right now because Brittany was taking a nap and i really hope that she is, is awake Hey, just letting you know that I'm here. Hey, I'm almost there. I'll be there in like five minutes. Okay, so we just got our nails done. I'm literally obsessed with this color. Like at first it was hard to get used to, but then now that I look at it more, it's like, like it. so cute. Like it's just like a kind of like a badass color. Like it's like, you know what I mean? And I've never had like blue like this. Um, but it's really cute. Yeah, these people are like, working on a show for them. I'm literally I'm so happy. used to people <laughs> staring at me. Like when I vlog in my car, and like someone will park next to me, and they'll literally look and they'll be like, and I'm like, yes. <laughs> it's 2022. Show your nails. That's crazy though. I was about I to just got French. Oh. Oh, it looks, you can't really see, but yeah. very simple, basic. But yeah, I think I'm gonna get my nails done until Valentine's Day because I never like. No, you should do it again for your birthday. Okay, then that'll be the last. 
and then I'll take a break until summer. There you go. Okay, yeah, because I literally like never, like this is rare for me, I've never gotten a fill in my lifetime because usually I'll just get like a set of nails for an occasion and then that's it. The only times I got nails in my life was for grad and then I didn't get a fill after that really? and then, no. Oh yeah, you let them grow up. Forever. I let them grow up for like <laughs> five months. It was disgusting. Never again. And then I got them for Christmas, a Christmas, and then I got them again for Christmas, but I never got a fill. This is my first time getting a fill. Wow. I know, it's kind of revolutionary, <laughs> but I think I'm gonna keep it up till my birthday and then I'll take a break until summer because you need the fun, cute summer colors. Anyways, Julie's getting cold, so. We are currently in chapters because it was literally like two seconds away from the nail store. And like chapters is so, like if you've never been in a chapters before, you need to get in one, even if you don't like books. They're just like so fun. There's so much in here. There's fun. There's like so many like cute There's brands. There's like knickknacks. Knickknacks. Like the thing is you don't know that you need it. Yeah. But you need so it. So Julia's debating because Julia has grown her book collection so much and she got me on Colleen Hoover. That's like the book that I'm reading this month is Ugly Love and the, it ends with us. Best author ever. So they usually are sold out of like books of her books in stores. But they have like a couple here and she does not know if she should get this book this book this is the series or i should get this book they turn this into a movie and so that's why i want to read it so then i can watch the movie after with lucy hale so she doesn't know but i, I i'm telling both. her to get both i'm telling her to get both <laughs> i wish you guys can respond real time <laughs> like i don't want to do don't want to spend money but like but at the same time like she's gonna read it and plus oh. she's trying to book uh, grow her book collection that is true so like why not like you're gonna read it eventually like, you're gonna buy it eventually mm -hmm. so just do it now because you might come back and they might not have it anymore. That's true. But so if I buy this one, then I'm gonna wanna read the next one. Okay, we should take a gander see what other books we have. <laughs> Look at her go, Miss Strong Woman. Yes, bring that package into your apartment. <laughs> bring bring that package into your apartment. Yeah, I know. It's like how it's like how do you help with this? She's stronger than, than both of us combined. 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 <laughs> got some seven layer dip, got some chips, girls night in. Cheers. This is not orange juice, by the way. It's a mimosa that's mixed with white wine because <laughs> they like the red, I like white. Pasta made by the infamous Brittany, who claims her cooking is the best. So we'll see about that. <laughs> hey guys, it is approximately like, what time is it? I'm gonna give you guys exact time, 12.15. And I decided that I'm going to get out of the house because I want to make a healthy green filled juice because I haven't made one of those in a long time and I feel so good when I drink that. Like I, I want to start having one like at least like once a week. The only thing about it is like it does take time to make and like buying like the vegetables and stuff is quite expensive because I do like to buy organic and it can get pricey. In the summertime, like, my dad grows most of the vegetables that I use for the juicing. But this time of year, it's, like, it could get pricey. So, like, it's not, like, that ethical to have every day. So, I'm going to aim for, like, once a week. I feel like would be a good medium for that. So, anyways, I'm going to go get some greens at the grocery store. I'm going to make some ginger shots because I made some yesterday and they were so good. I will let you guys know how I make them um, when I do it today. But we're going to make some of those and I'm just going to get some ingredients for dinner as well because we're going to make Toscana soup and if you guys never had Toscana soup, it's basically like from the Olive Garden. Like, I don't know if they invented it, the recipe, but it's just so, so, so good. So we're going to make that for dinner tonight and I'm just going to zip out to the grocery store right now just to pick up those things. Um, yeah, I'm feeling so good today and I think it's because I went to bed late last, um, early. I went to bed early. I'm sleeping my sleep. Oh my god, what am I even saying? I am fixing my sleep schedule. So I went to bed at 11 last night and I woke up at like 8, which is so nice. Like, instead of going to bed at 12 and waking up more towards 9, it feels so good to like wake up earlier. I woke up and what I literally f like forgot that made me feel so happy and so good is when I like woke up, I used to not check my phone because... I did that for a while where like I would just wake up and not check my phone for like at least like an hour Like I would just do everything. I'd make my smoothie I would do my meditation my yoga in the morning I would brush my teeth and just not check my phone and then after I was done all that 
then I would allow myself to check my phone and like scroll through social media for a bit before I start working. And then I got out of the habit of not doing it. And then I started like checking my phone every morning when I woke up and I'd be on it for a while. And not doing that like, is the best thing ever. Like if you guys are the type of person that wakes up and check their phone right away, which is like probably everyone does that. Like literally I go out in and out of phases. But if you're the type of person who does that, just try one day and just don't check your phone. Get Just get out of bed right away. And I promise you like you'll feel literally so good. Like, it's the best feeling. So I feel like sitting in bed on your phone, it just makes you, like, not feel so good and groggy. But anyways, okay, we should get going. I literally had to put on a hat today because my hair is just, like, the epitome of grease right now. And I don't want to wash it for another day or so. So we are covering the grease with a hat, um, which is fine because I haven't worn a hat in a while and i love hats they're so cute but anyways okay i'm gonna get driving i'll show you guys a new outfit of the day so i'm just wearing this um kind of like this sports bra workout tank top thing that is kind of making me feel like i'm gonna work out or go to the gym but the gyms are closed so i'm not but it's making me feel a good way i'm just wearing some black leggings i don't really like these but i do not know where my lululemon's ones are so i have to settle for these and then i'm just wearing ugh, these cutie shoes that i got from revolve and then my puffer that i thrifted and then I have for Lucy's Polly, so let's get going. Okay, so I just got out of the store and I literally realized I forgot to put on my rings today. My hands feel so naked. But besides that, <laughs> And I also left on two pimple patches on purpose because you know when you have like those big ass mamas like these are literally big mamas and They're literally like under the skin pimples like these pimple patches are probably not going to do anything for them because these are like the worst type of pimples but They're those type of pimples that like hurt like they hurt so bad like it feels like you have a legit bruise and yeah because I put like some makeup on today I didn't do mascara because hell no like if I don't need to put mascara on like I'm not gonna do it but um I had to keep these pimple patches on because these hurt and I just want to make sure that like I don't touch them or I didn't want makeup on them too so I just put this on and then did my makeup so cute it was literally also so busy in there like I don't know what it like it's literally like aren't people working like I'm just confused but it was like so busy I've never seen this story like that busy but I guess it's like Monday noon parents are going grocery shopping like it kind of makes sense now that i really think about it anyways we're just gonna drive home now i'm debating if i should get a starbucks or not but i don't think i'm gonna do it because i can just make a coffee at home so i think we're gonna i think we're gonna make a coffee at home today ladies and gentlemen because that's what i do mostly but like when i go out i like to get myself a drink but i can make one out because i'm literally going home right now so that's what we're gonna do Okay, so what I do for the ginger shots is I literally put like a bunch of ginger. So like this is how much I'm going to put. And then I'm going to put about like three to four apples, mix them with the ginger. And then afterwards, I'm going to squeeze a lemon and a lime into it. But right now, I'm just going to juice the ginger and then like three apples. And the rest of this is for like the big juice that I'm making. But yeah, so this is what I'm just going to do right now. <laughs> So yeah, that's literally how I make my ginger shots. And then I just mix it all up. I just added a lemon and a lime in the last clip. And yeah, so basically lots of ginger, apples, and then lemon lime. And they're very strong. It just like depends how much ginger you put in. But yeah, I actually made a lot. This is gonna, this is like a lot of shots, but I did put a lot of ginger in here. So they like, <laughs> they're really spicy, um, but they're really good. And they really just kill anything this is my brother by the way cheers seated mine that was good actually oh leaves such a fiery aftertaste at the moment it's fine and then it starts stinging your mouth mm -hmm. oh do you put like cayenne pepper in there no i put lemon and lime apple and ginger 
So I just brought out this juicer because we have two juicers. This juicer is more for greens. So it's more for like kale and like not like big stuff like apples and stuff. It works better for like smaller like kale, um, the greeny stuff, you know what I mean? And this juicer is more like a bulking juicer where you can juice like apples, carrots, cucumber, celery, like big things. So that's why I have these two out because this one's a lot faster and this one takes its time. So like it will take so long if I made the whole juice in here where this one is just like so quick. But you guys will see what I mean. And then at the end, so I'm going to do the oranges and apples in this juicer and the carrots and the cucumber. And then here I'm just going to do like all the... Um, Swiss chard and the kale that I bought in this one and then I'm just going to combine the two juices at the end. Okay, so here's how much green juice I made. I just strained it and then now I'm doing batches <laughs> of the apples and oranges, but I need to like keep refilling this cup because it's gonna overflow, but I still have more shit to do. So I'm just gonna, um, as I'm going, I'm gonna be pouring this into here because this is huge, but I don't even know if this is gonna hold everything. Okay, so I just got this Amazon package in the mail that I ordered a couple days ago. And what I got were these um, plastic reusable like, cuppy things cup things as you can see they're like kind of container cups with lids and what i'm gonna do is you know how they sell like those frozen um smoothie cups where it's a whole bunch of like frozen fruit put together and then you just put it in the blender add liquid and then you make a smoothie so companies do that and i'm like why don't i just like do them myself so that i can have these in my freezer reset them every week or whenever it runs out and have like just pre-portion the frozen fruit so i'm not taking out like 10 different bags of frozen fruit every morning and having that just having them like literally ready to go where you take the cup out pour it in the blender add liquid and then it's done like i feel like i don't know that just makes everything so much more efficient in the morning i can just pre-portion everything before i don't need to worry about taking out 10 million bags so we're gonna do it and it's also gonna look really cute and clean and organized so i thought this was a pretty good idea and I think I'll like it, motivate me more. Okay, so here are my pre-portioned smoothies. I have a bunch of fruit in here, and what I did was I did wild blueberries, um, blackberries, mango, avocado, peaches, and raspberries, and half a banana. And of each, I did a quarter cup of every single one, except for the blueberries, I did half a cup. Yeah, that's literally what I did. And I measured it like from like the Nutribullet cup so that I know that it's like perfect portions. And yeah, now I'm just gonna pop these in the fridge. Alrighty, I just cleared the top shelf. So these are literally gonna go right in the top shelf. If anybody in my family is watching this, you do not have consent to use these. <laughs> All right, there you have it. It's so organized, and now I'm gonna be so excited to make my smoothies. I did five just because, you know, for five weekdays, but I realized that it's Tuesday today. No, is it Tuesday? No, it's Monday today. So I'm only gonna need four this week, but that's okay, because I'll have an extra one for the weekend or next week or whatever. But yeah, I kind of make smoothie making a priority from Monday to Friday, weekends, it's whatever. Okay guys, I'm officially going to end this vlog. My mirror is actually so dirty. Sorry about that. I should clean it more often considering how often I use the camera in it. Anyways, I feel like I was literally in the kitchen from 2.30 to 8 o'clock. It's like 8.30 now. I've been in the kitchen literally all day. I did the juices. I did the ginger shots. I had to clean. I had to wash everything. Then I did dinner, clean, blah, 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 that process. And then I just did the smoothie cups. And I just feel like I've literally been standing in the kitchen for like eight hours straight. Like not even getting you. I feel like I just ran a marathon or something, but I feel very productive today. Today was a great day. I hope you guys had an amazing day and I hope you have an amazing week. Anyways, I'm going to go now because I am going to wash my face and I need to do some editing. So we're going to do that tonight and hopefully get to bed at a decent hour. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Like you don't even know it means the world to me that you guys are watching this right now. Like if, especially if you made it to this point in the video, like 
I literally love you. So, like, you don't even know how much I appreciate every single view, every single subscriber. Like, I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. Like, I can cry. But anyways, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I'm going to plug it because I never do. Um, so if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, make sure you do that. It's always in my description. It's just literally my name. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Peace out. See you in my next one.